All right, so here's my e-bike, the XP. And it's a pretty cool bike. I already put almost 200 miles on it. My friend got one too. And he already put 500 miles on his bike. And uh, my hitch is actually, I have a Honda Core 2016. And the only hitch that I was able to put in this car is the one inch, one fourth hitch. And I put a uh, one fourth to two inch adapter, as you can see right here. Pretty solid, pretty strong. And I bought and the bike rack. And the bike rack is actually, um, this one is actually the Hollywood bike rack. Supports two fat bikes. Uh, I think it's 140 pounds total and yes as you see right here I got a few mods on my e-bike I put some reflectors you know as you see right here you know and um, I do have the electric lock it's a pretty good lock but it was hell of a problem to get the two bolts in there but I got it in there it's pretty tricky to get the bolts in there you don't have enough space to tighten up the bolts the frame and this little light is a cool little light is an alarm and it's got a little horn it has a strobe light and you see since it's LED you might see it differently on the on the phone camera it's got the strobe light it's got slow motion Got strobe, solid on. It also got the brake, so it's got a gyro inside. So when you hit the brake, the brake light will come on automatically, and it's pretty bright compared to the stock, you know, light um, that has the lights. And that's how you turn it off. And you can also control it from a small controller. Beeper. This beeper comes off. You can swing it, you can twist it, and it comes off. So let me see the remote. I turn up the light remote. That's what you see right here. Got your right blinker, your left blinker. Pretty cool. You got your alarm or your horn. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I, I got this off Amazon. I think it was 45 bucks. It's worth it. I got two of them. One for me, one for my friend. And I don't got that much mod. Then I have a cup holder right here. Pretty nice cup holder. It's got a little strap. And uh, pretty much it. And then I have this additional alarm horn. This thing is metal. It's waterproof weatherproof pretty solid and this thing it's loud it's got a nice beeper to it it's got a nice beeper to it this is actually the beeper so you can actually hit the horn I think it's loud and you can actually it's got a little switch that goes around. You can also touch the horn by pressing this little button right here. See, it's got a little built-in LED light. So when you arm the alarm, it's gonna blink. As you can see right here. See it? It's blinking. It's being activated. So you won't hear no no alarm. No, you know, beep beep. It's activated. So now it's activated, so I'm going to tap on the bike. Yeah. Very sensitive. It's a very sensitive one. So it's pretty cool. This is must have accessories. You know, pretty cool. So, yep, there you have it, man. This is my electric e bike XP. And Almost close to 200 miles 
I mean, I can't complain. I just wish. Um, oh, by the way, I am 6'11. I weigh 250 pounds, and I'm able to get about close to 20 miles to range. And, you know, using maybe uh, class two, class two most of the time, and gear, gear, fifth gear. And it runs pretty smooth. Sometimes I use class three, you know, depends, you know, but um, yeah, there you have it, man. This is my electric, nice little bike rack. It's pretty solid. I already put two bikes. I put my friend's bike, drove to Orlando. No issues, pretty stable, pretty solid, like a rock. And there you have it. I have the little reflectors on the wheels, as you can see right here, pretty nice. Yeah. Enjoy your electric bike. And they do have awesome customer service support, so go for it.